Hello, welcome back to Think Big Digital. Today we are going to learn about how to use Leonardo AI and what should you know beforehand using this popular AI. For that, we will first log into Leonardo AI. Open up your browser. You can also use Microsoft Bing and search Leonardo AI in the search bar. Click on the first website you see. Now you can either launch their app or you can create an account. For today, I am not going to launch their app. I'm just going to create an account from their website. Now you can sign up or log in with your Apple ID or Google account, Microsoft account, or you can also use your email and password then sign in from here. Today I'm going to use my Google account and just choose your Google account. Tap on continue. You will, be, you will have to give your username and your interest here. Then just tap on your interest after typing your username. If you're not over 18, you cannot use Leonardo AI. So if you are over 18, just tap on this box here and tap on next. Leonardo AI is a free image creation tool that uses generative AI to create images on demand. The main five features of this AI are image generation, real-time canvas, canvas editor, motion, and real-time generation. If you want to create images with Leonardo AI, click on the image generation tab. Here you will be given a range of configuration options to choose from when creating your image. At the left side of Leonardo AI, you will see multiple image dimensions here. You can just choose any one of them. You can generate one to eight prompts here. You will get over four prompts if you're in your upgrade option of Leonardo AI. You will also see photoreal, alchemy, prompt magic, public images options here. These options will help you to enhance your generated image quality. Coming to the right side of AI generation, you will see type a prompt text bar. You can just type any of your idea which you want to generate to an image. Under the prompt text bar, you will see fine tuned model, which is a complete list of AI algorithms you can use to make images. You will find firstly two options, Leonardo style and none. So none means you will Put no style on your prompt. You can also add multiple elements from the Leonardo community. Take any images because these are all public images that has royalty free and these are also open for commercial use. Just select the elements here and tap on confirm. After having the elements on, you will see multiple options given right beside the elements option. And you can also put image from your laptop or PC. But today we will not do that. You can also increase your photo weight or you can decrease it too. You can also add negative prompt which is something you don't want to see in the image. You can just type in the text part of a negative prompt. Now choose how many pictures you want to generate here and then just tap on generate. Then come back to generation history. Just wait for some few seconds until it is processed in the generation history. As our prompt is in the illustrator, is in the illustration option. These are all illustrated. Now tap on the images you like. Under the image, you will find this download image icon. Clicking on that, you will be able to download your image. Now, if we go back from this AI generation option, if you go to community feed, you will see many public images which is loyalty free and you can also use this for your commercial use. 
You can find here photography, animals, anime, architecture type of photographs here, architecture type of pictures here. Now, the second most popular feature which is used by many community from Leonardo is real-time canvas. Real-time canvas is an image-to-image -image transformation tool that allows you to draw your own images. To use this real-time canvas, click on the tab option by the same name in the sidebar and click your mouse on the canvas to start drawing. You can also add image from here. You can select your images and also you can erase your prompts from here. At the right side, you will see your transform tool which is generated from your drawing. Now you can also select your Leonardo styles here. Now under your drawing, you will able to find a type a prompt text bar. Type your idea from here. Now after typing your prompt, you will see a transformed output at the right section of canvas. And if you want to delete this section, you will find download option at the right side of the canvas. Just tap on download and you will be able to download your output. You can also edit your canvas. Similarly, at the canvas editor section, you will have to write a prompt and then generate the written prompt from here. Just tap on generate and as you can see I have an I have an output as per my prompt and you can either accept it or deny it. Just tap on this arrow section here. Whatever images you like, just tap on accept. At the right side of editor option, you can generate number of your images. You can also choose your dimensions here. You can also turn up your render density. Render density is something that allows you to alter your resolution of the image. But if you don't want to customize this section, you can also tap on reset to defaults and you would, it will go back to what Leonardo has already set, set up for us, what Leonardo has set up for its audience. At the left side of editor option, you will find download artwork. You can download it from here or you can just Right click your mouse on the image and you, you will be given two options com copy image or save image. You will be able to save your image from here also. Both of the images will be saved as a PNG. The feature motion is something that allows you to watch your ideas come to life in moments with generative video. Just click on motion to generate your images from here. You can select from your recent images or you can select any images from your file. I will select my recent images here and then tap on generate. Click on the generation. You will be directed to generation history here. Now wait for some seconds until it is processed. As you can see, my image is now turned into a motion video. If you want to download your motion images, you can just tap on MP4 and you will be able to download your file. Now we will just go back to our home page. The last feature that we are going to see is real-time generation. Real-time generation is another tool in the sidebar that you can use to simply entering a text prompt and the solution will generate an output immediately. Just tap on real-time generation. Again, type a prompt here. You can also customize your elements here. At the right, at the right side of real-time generation, you will see random seed. So random seed is 
a series of numbers that tells the AI how to generate an image. You can also choose your style. And here is my final output. And now I just want to download this. Just click on this download icon here. And it will be downloaded as a JPG version of your output. Now the actual question is, is Leonardo AI safe? Leonardo AI is a very popular and reliable image creation service that comes with some basic content moderation guardrails in place. It is considered one of the most safest AI image generators available in the market capable of generating various types of images from simple text prompts. However, it is important to remember that as an online AI platform, there are also risks associated with using Leonardo AI. It is very crucial to fully understand this risk before you place your trust in the AI image. Leonardo AI collects a lot of data about you. It clearly mentions in their privacy policy page that they will collect your personal information, including your name, email address, IP address, location, and other identifying information. Lastly, it is also very possible that Leonardo AI will change its privacy policy in the future. If you come to personal feed, you will see all of your personal creations here, your motion graphs, your photographs, your own edited creative prompts. You can also train any of your models on training and data sets. If you click on create new data set, you will be given two options of name and description. Just put a data set name and then a description. Click on create data set. Now go to upload images and select one of your images from files. Now tap on train model. You can also put your model name here and enter a brief description. Enter a brief description. At the end of train model, you will see this. This model is an NSFW option. So basically, this, this is an abbreviation for not safe for work used when sharing internet material that should only be looked that should only be looked at in a private because it contains some things, for example, pictures of naked people that could be offensive. Now, as our pictures doesn't include in NSFW, so we will just start training. You can also add an intense instance prompt here and then, then just type on start training. Now, as you can see, training in progress, we will email you when it's complete. As this is a very high quality data set of edit, it can take 30 minutes to a few hours and you will see your update on your job status or on your email. Now under the training and data set, you will find fine-tuned models. So what is fine-tuned models in Leonardo? Fine-tuning is the process of making small adjustment to achieve the desired output. In deep learning, it involves a use of weights of a trained neutral of a trained neural network to program another deep learning algorithm from the same domain. If you want to make small adjustments, you can just click on generate with this model or any prompts you like. Now at the left side of edit options, you can choose your image dimensions and other advanced control options. You will also find your five user tools after the home page section under the motion under the motion section you will find texture generation so texture generation is basically a 3d asset model you can just upload your object file here and generate textures with contextual intelligence and download the enriched files tailor made for diverse applications now an api plan provides access to the leonardo production a API for developing for developing applications while a web app subscription permits use of features within the Leonardo AI web and mobile applications along with the user API. In this settings option, you can see all of your interest and also you can change your interest from here and then tap on just save changes. 
and now if you want to delete all of this data and all of your work you can just delete your account and if you come to account management you will see delete account option or you can just log out from this logout option just tap on delete account and type your username here now just confirm to delete click on delete my account and now my account is permanently deleted from the app.leonardo.ai and I won't be able to get my account with the same generation, same generation history again. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.